Hi everyone, this is Kay here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be making some embellishments using the most beautiful collections um, from um, Uniquely Created that we had in the Advent Kit. So there was two collections. Uh, one was called Indigo and Violet and one was called Juniper and Sage and I'm going to be using a little bit of both um, to make my uh, um, embellishments today. And with the embellishments you can use them for your scrapbooking, for your card making or for any other project you want to do like for I like make I make journals as well as cards so that would be some of them might be used in my journals as well as for my cards so I'm just going to be using things from the kit and thank you very much uniquely creative for these I have been looking for something for a long time and I just didn't know what kind to get and whether they would hold and these are fabulous I've used them so many times already they've got glue all over them <laughs> but they are wonderful uh, so wonderful and these again they are amazing I mean I've just um, cut out some of the little tricky bits of the leaves here with these and they can just with the little snips I've got inside the little hole here so I mean, you might not be able to see so I'll put it there I've got inside that little hole there and um, cut it out fine just by using these it was I mean they are just wonderful so thank you very much so pleased I got these so pleased anyway we start off with using some of the things from the collection this is um from the creative cuts these are from the creative cuts as well and this is just cut from my 12 by 12 uh, paper so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put the two of those together because I quite like the colours, but mainly to support this beautiful, beautiful. I love peacock. I love how the gorgeous flowers create um, the tail. To me, um, um, that's more beautiful with than um, normal feathers. Oh, well, I, I personally think so. I mean, because it just looks so. Um, I don't know. They're using those. That colour for the centre makes it all sparkly, and I don't know. I might have to put some sparkles and stuff in there. And I did have where's my doily, and I might use the doily as well behind. We'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to glue that on. I'm, do, do I want to dimension it? Do I want to dimension it? I, I probably should have got this out before, but as usual, I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> happens a lot when you're doing when you do YouTube you just forget to do things and um, then when you went to go create something you think oh I should have got that out for I'm just trying to find my um, fair foments I've got from uniquely creative junior Black Friday sale so that was really good get some those sort of kind of things that I consider to be essential foments glue double side tape paper you know it's double sided tape and glue that I tend to use a lot of so it's good to have um, something that uh, you can buy from your local well I consider you uniquely creative as my local shop because I buy a lot of things from them as they are an Adelaide company in case you haven't heard me say it before and again <laughs> I think I've said it quite a few times I just love their collections this is so lovely seen a sneak preview I'm, I'm doing this before Christmas so it comes out on Boxing Day so hopefully people have opened all their boxes and kits by then and know what's in there and uh, I'm not spoiling anybody's surprise and I apologise if some people are, haven't quite got to their box because they've been busy on Christmas Day. I apologise if you're watching this and um, and you haven't seen everything in your box or your kit. I got the box because I, I don't, I'm, I, guess, I don't do the whole Advent thing. <laughs> I know you're supposed to but I don't. I just, I just the last they've, they've just been amazing all the advent kits and i just uh, as soon as i get them i open them so do i want them to line up on the two dots like that and make it into a tag or just leave it like that 
to for the purple to show. I think I might just leave it like that for the purple to show. It's really pretty, really pretty. The colours are just so pretty. You call it purple or lilac? Oh, juniper. No, 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 that's the green one. Indigo and violet. Oh. So that's violet. Okay. Pretty colour. So pretty. And then, do I want to have the doily, which also came in the kit? At the back on the small ones. Just here. Where should I put it? Or should I have one at all? What do you think? Here? There? Where? I had it, I had it there before, but I don't know now. Whether I need to have one, really. I think I will. I think I'll put it on there anyway. Why not? Oh, I just realised I've got a foam mount on there and it's not sticking to anything. So I might just take that off so it doesn't stick to anything. It's not supposed to. Until I get around to making something with it. Beautiful. So that's one. I still haven't quite got into the hang of using those all the time, so I'm going to try, try hard, try hard. So I've got, uh, this is a creative cut, I've got a couple of leaves here, one of the elements from the, one of the was, was that the 12 by 12 or just from the um, separate sheet, possibly from the separate sheet, and this is a tag from there, and I don't know what you call these things, tabs, tabs, I'm going to use the word I am so I'm going to cut out the word but I'm going to give a bit of room so we can see the staples I think I'd use real staples over the top I could do I suppose so I'm going to use this as my background so pretty It's just going to be there as a added colour, a bit of green in there. And what did I have? It? Oh, I said I do play with these ideas before I go on camera because um, otherwise it would take too long and it would be boring for you guys, for you, to, to, for, you for you to watch. And uh, there's nothing worse than people faffing about. <laughs> I'm going to put the leaves there. Probably should have cut them a little bit better than that. I might just do that in a minute. And the word is going to go the best day. Just like that. So I'm just going to cut this out a little bit more. So they have, but obviously I did it on the other one, but not on this one. As you can see, the points is so fine. You can get into those little tricky areas if you haven't tried out your scissors already. Please do. They're wonderful. And they do help your um, not strain your arm so much. I do have, um, I did have another pair, but um, these are better. The pair I had before with the sort of like the climb with the, the wind scissors are sort of more like shears, really, the way the handle works. Those gardening shears. Having like a pair of scissors is a, I don't know whose idea it was, but, and who came up with the mechanism to how to get it to work, impressed. Alright, I think that's, that's probably, I know I should do this one as well. But unfortunately, I can't cut out a whole 12 by 12 anymore, and that's why I bought my scan and cut. But I um, couldn't use my scan and cut on this collection because there were so many beautiful elements on the page that the scan and cut um, read it all as one thing. So, 
just took my time and cut them over slowly over a few days. And I've got trouble in my arm and hand and elbow and you name it. Okay. That'll do. Get rid of my rubbish. Bits of paper, you know, little bits of paper. I don't want to glue them on accidentally. So I'm just going to foam out this bit here. So, and I'm only going to do it in the middle here so that um, I can tuck things underneath if I haven't um, given you tip that tip before. It's a really useful um, thing to know. Oh, well, I, I was shown, somebody else told me that tip and I, and it certainly makes sense now that I've made um a number of things and it makes a lot of life a lot easier if you just have it um, um in the middle this is got back and front on the backing tape what do you, I think that's what you call it okay take them off these little tags are gorgeous I like them I'd love to use them as <coughs> as they are but I'm going to use them in my journals but I'm going to use this just a few as uh, backgrounds for my embellishment because they're a good starting point and sometimes if you're a card maker you might not know um, well, no, no, you, might not, you probably will do know but you might not uh, can, may not have lots of ideas on how to use them so this is, these are just some ideas i'm sure loads of people got oodles of ideas really i hope that the camp cost not wrongly i just I hope that people don't take offence what I've said. I'm, I'm sure you've got oodles of ideas, but this is just another idea for you to try. I'm going to cut that off because it's going to be too big. You can use the other circle in another, another half and then another project. Anyway, I'm trying not, I'm not using my... <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's get a grip. Use these, use these. All right, so I'm going to just try and swing that round a bit more. Now that won't stick now because I don't think I've put enough glue on it. Try some more. So I hope you've all had a really good Christmas day and Eve and celebration and had some time to do a little bit of time for yourself. Sometimes when, as you get older, sometimes Christmas day can be a bit tiring. <laughs> oh, no, not really. It's only for a short time. But some people can't get to see their families on Christmas Day and have to wait for another time because of the distances that they travel. Have to they live away from each other. Didn't cut that off very well. Okay. Now, use your tweezers. So I'm still not used to using them. So. The glue on the back. Probably were using them all wrong, but uh, this is the way I found easiest to you. Now I'm going to have to glue on me now because I've got to, have to put to move my things. Pop that around there. Perfect. Glue string there. Don't want the glue strings. Get rid of the glue strings. And another one. Don't want it there. Oh, I think I want it there. Do I want it where, where do I want it around here? What do you think? 
So I think if that goes better there, get a bit more balance. But I just need to cut this bit here off a little bit more. There's too much white on there for my liking. But is it, is it Chrissy Tingly, Tingy from UK? If you haven't seen her work, check her out on um, on uh, Instagram. She calls herself the Fussy Cutter, but oh my goodness, I mean, she just cuts everything right close to the edge. I'm always worried about things breaking. Okay, so that's I like I like those two balancing out to each other there. Do I want to have this other bit of the circle down here? What do you think? All on the edge here. Oh, I quite like it there. I'm gonna put it there. Whatever is uh, pleasing to your eye, really. You might not like what I'm doing. Um, everybody has their own um, take on things, and uh, it's whatever works for you, really. Whatever you like. Can I pick up this little best day thing? Do I have it here on the side? Here. Needs to be cut a little bit better, a bit straighter. I can't use my little staple because my little staple is too too short to go that far. Okay, so that's two. Stuck on there, yep. I want just a little bit more glue. Yep, quite like those two. And one more. And for this one, I've just used these group of words together because um, there's a background. And I've cut best off friends. Off friends because just wanted to use this this word I don't want to use the whole lot I might use this on a, on a card by itself because I think that would work quite nicely I'm going to use this one here it doesn't look straight does it does it look straight to you it doesn't look straight to me let's just get this pair of scissors and see if I can cut a bit better try that So they can go across there like that. And just need to come up a little bit more. And just have some leaves. Got one, two, three, whether I'll use any more, I don't know. I love all the leaves on this. It's just gorgeous. Something, something about leaves that just have a beautiful look all of their own. And it's just so many different colour greens. If you go for a walk in the forest, uh, the bush forest in Australia, I bet you would be, you know, I bet you would probably count about twenty different greens in this very small place, because it's just like this grey green, olive green, green green, um, vibrant green, dark green, almost black green, just lots of them. What have I done with my phone mounts here? On. So 
So when I'm filming this, I've just come home from a lovely cruise. Seven nights, Tasmania. It's a bit cool, but it was lovely. The weather was cool, not the... Oh, oh. And the cruise was just so enjoyable. My husband and I were happy just to sit and relax and walk around the decks, eat. <laughs> Goodness me, you know, like you could just, there's so much food to eat, you could just, just go silly. Because you can have breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, Supper if you want to. Just have to know where to go. <laughs> no. If you read the stuff, you know where to go. So like I said, I'm just going to use the leaves on this one. I don't know why I like that leaves or after all that or after all that. I'm still going to stick this one on. Hopefully, I'm hoping that this um, pair of tweezers will be just the ticket to help my fingers because I get glue on them all the time. It's not very good for the skin. Well, I find it's not very good for the skin, my skin anyway. It gets a bit dry. My skin gets a bit dry on my fingers with using too much glue. But hopefully, using the tweezers, I won't have to have glue all over my fingers. What else? What other one shall I use? Just need to cut this one after I've cut those ones out fussy, you know, lovely, beautifully, and now I don't want to use them. I might use this, the the big one, cut it in half. See. I'm not picking them up the wrong way around. <laughs> I think I need a lesson in how to use tweezers. I'm going to have to watch somebody, I think. I can't get that sort of back to front thing happening that people seem to use when they're using them. Whether I use any more leaves on this side, maybe. Best, best. And I can add um, the word back on again when you make the card, the one I cut off, the friends one, if you wanted to. <sighs> there. I think I'm picking them up in the wrong place. Do you want to be YouTube on how to use scissors to tweezers properly? I just I just love that one. It doesn't really need a lot of other things really. I mean I could get the flowers out from the uh, from the collection, the flowers that come in the packet, but uh, I'm not too sure whether I want to leave it like this to make it as sort of a more um, masculine kind of card, so I'm not gonna put the flowers on there. Leave it this one the way it is. So we've got that one, that one, and that one. I just love working with those two collections. They're just so, just my thing. <laughs> just love them. And if you want to have the, the, the peacock like that, you can. If you want to have the peacock, I think, yes, the peacock needs to be like that. Really, so you can, it's more uh, watching the, um, how the tail goes. So thank you very much for Uniquely Creative for this awesome uh, Advent box and with all the 
wonderful little goodies. I'm going to see if I can find a YouTube on how to use these properly because I'm sure I'm not doing it right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me today and we'll see you again another time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.